CentralValleyTalk.com And good morning on this beautiful Tuesday morning right here at Central Valley Talk Studios in Fresno, California. My name is Joey Perez and I welcome you to the Experience Live uh, right here with JLive Entertainment Radio. And as you know, we started here last week at CentralValleyTalk.com and we want to remind all of our guests, all of our fans tuning in live to make sure you tune in to CentralValleyTalk.com every week as JLive Entertainment Radio comes to you live 10 a.m. Pacific right here from Fresno, California. You can also send um, instant messages uh, to our uh, radio show as well. As you can check, there's a tab right next to me here where you can send in an instant message, a question about whatever topic that we're talking about here at JLive Entertainment Radio. I want to introduce to you guys right now Week Four's co-host, Sydney Brazil. Hey, Sydney, welcome to the show. Welcome to JLive Entertainment you. Radio. I'm Are excited. you excited? Yeah, I'm very excited. I'm kind of tired. <laughs> Summer so, break, I've been waking up at and, noon every day. And we did talk about, uh, last week on the show, we talked about how we were going to have a co-host contest. Yeah. And over the past few weeks, we have had several co-hosts uh, that have sat down with me. And what's going to happen is, at the end of these six weeks, which we only got two more weeks to go, so we're going to have two more co-hosts uh, in the following few weeks, and at the end of those six weeks, we're going to find out who will be our permanent co-host here at JLive Entertainment Radio. And Sydney, I mean, obviously you were here last week as a special guest. You, uh, Very did, a fun. you did a performance yeah, for us, I which was that. great. We got a lot of high praises from, the, uh, from emails and stuff like that, asking about you and asking where you're going to be performing and all that good stuff. But now this is different. Because yeah. you're not here as a performer, you're not here as a special guest, you are here as a co-host and possibly somebody that could walk away with a full-time gig with us. Which so, would be awesome. Would so right that. now, this is your opportunity to tell the folks out there why you would be the perfect co-host. Listen, folks, <laughs> I'm the best. I'll make you laugh, I'll make you cry, but mostly... <laughs> I'll make you smile. <laughs> hey, there okay. it is. I, as, you can make me laugh. You can Vote make me cry. Something. You can make me smile. I mean, hey, that's all I want to. I want to feel as a listener right now. But, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long week uh, in the world of J Live Entertainment. We've had a lot of things happen since last Tuesday. But most importantly, congratulations to Snooki. Hey, Snooki has given birth to her beautiful child this Finally. past Sunday morning. And Snooki, who is a good friend of mine, I met her uh, about two years ago over at uh, Tachi Casino when we brought her in uh, to the Den nightclub. Um, when the den was still open over at Tachi Casino in Lemoore, California. Had a chance to meet Snooky, had a chance to meet her dad. Shout outs to Papa oh, Snooks, cool. uh, Andy. And uh, we had a great time together. It was uh, such a fun time when we were at this nightclub. And you gotta understand, so these Jersey Shore stars yeah. get paid close to over $20,000 just to show up to a nightclub and party. Man. So Sydney, I mean, what would you do in the fact that just somebody paid you $20,000 to show up and party? I mean, I you... would party like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> it would be I'd be like 20 grand, let's do this. So I would spend it all that night. It would be it would be over. <laughs> I mean, and, and that's the way you got to do it, but I mean, just to I mean, Jersey Shore is such a phenomenon and, and it did such great ratings for MTV and uh, you know, these stars actually are getting paid almost over a million dollars I think now per that's episode. Insane. Uh Snooki in the situation being the highest paid. I, I think Snooki has surpassed yeah. a lot of the uh, celebrities on that show. She's um, got she's got slippers, she's got perfumes. I love her. Yeah, she's doing she's, her own I thing. I don't situation he's got Abs. Well, know, and, what, and we all know what happened to the situation recently. He was actually yeah. checked into rehab. So his partying stopped. Snooki continued. And then obviously she got pregnant. So her uh, partying stopped. And then the perfect spinoff with her. She had a chance to do a show with uh, J-Well, who's actually, actually another star on the show. And they documented Snooki's pregnancy and all this good stuff. And I'm pretty sure that we're going to see a reality show just on her pregnancy mm -hmm. and the giving birth and all that stuff. So I'm pretty sure MTV's already working on that. Um, but anyway, speaking of Snooki, she gave birth to Lorenzo Enzo Dominique Lavalle. Very Italian. That's incredibly <laughs> Italian. Lorenzo and, and, Enzo Dominique. And get this. Anderson Cooper, who is a uh, uh, anchor, a news anchor on CNN, actually sent her uh, two dozen cannolis. Are you serious? Have you ever had a cannoli? Yes. What two are they? Dozen? I've always asked, like, because I always, I've always, I've always like wondered what cannolis are. Italian enchiladas. 
Okay. Kind of. I don't really know. You can put whatever in them. But, so, like, uh, they have whipped cream or something? or. No, I, mean, I don't think it's a dessert. Oh, it's not a dessert. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Oh, yeah. It's cream filled. filled. Okay, yeah. So, cream filled. One of our wrong. instant messages uh, helped us out there. So, uh, is it a dessert, then? <laughs> I, think I thought it, it was cheese. You know what? I think it is a dessert. Maybe it's cream cheese. I, I think it is, it, it is a dessert. But anyway, so two cannolis, uh, two dozen cannolis were sent from Anderson Cooper over to Snooki. That we didn't send fun. her any gifts, unfortunately, because uh, I think that uh, our communicate, my communication with Snooki is no longer there. I sent, I did actually. Oh, did you? Yeah. She probably I sent didn't get gold plated diapers. <laughs> gold plated. Pure gold. <laughs> I sent two dozen of those, actually. <laughs> gold, gold plated diapers. <laughs> yeah. So and I don't know uh, how so, that. Sydney, I, I will, I will try to see if I, because like I said, I still, I think I still have her number in my phone. Okay. If After she, hasn't, she got them. Well, if she hasn't changed it already, because you know she probably thinks I'm yeah, a creep or something, so she probably changed it. Probably. Um, so I'll try to see if those gold plated diapers actually came in. I'm sure but, she got them. <laughs> but just so everybody watching right now on Central Valley Talk.com, once again, you can instant message, and so a lot of the topics that we're talking about here on Central Valley Talk. Com. Just write in a message to us, to myself or Sydney, and uh, you know you can just let us know uh, what you're thinking, or you know give us advice, or whatever it is that you want to do. Chime in right on the instant message here board uh, on CentralValleyTalk.com. Also, J Live Entertainment. Find out for more information about us at JLiveENT.com. Facebook slash JLiveENT, and also Twitter uh, JLiveENT. Now, give them your Twitter too. Twitter.com slash Sydney S Y D N I E. B as in boy and zero zero. Now, Sydney, get this: the highest paid celebrity. Speaking of Snooki and speaking of the whole celebrity world, highest paid celebrities for the fourth year in the row. Oprah. Guess who it is? Oprah. It's got to be Oprah. She's yes. like the celebrity Jesus. But here's the thing: <laughs> Oprah starts this new channel, right? Which is, have you seen the Own Network? Yeah, yet? yeah. She's done some really good stuff on there. All her interviews and stuff. She's pretty much got her show, oh, back again, but just on a network so she's got like 50 different well, shows. And here's my opinion on that. Like, I, I, I appreciate all of those shows. Like, yeah. I, I love the live class. I love the next chapter. I love when she did the interview with 50 Cent, when mm -hmm. she brought in Whitney Houston's daughter. Yeah. Uh, you know, all those great interviews that she's done. The only thing, though, is I don't think the content, I almost feel like she replaced the Lifetime channel. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, the Lifetime channel like, was like that women's, like, channel other... with those, like, low-budget movies. Yeah. You know, it was, and it's just like, I don't know, I'm not feeling her channel, but she's still making money from Dr. Phil, yeah. Rachel Ray, and the Dr. Oz she, show. She produced Rachel Ray? She produces Rachel Ray. Oh, man. So this lady is uh, nonstop, and get this, she still has her satellite radio show. She still has her magazine, which is very popular. Um, and obviously, we're talking about OWN, which is struggling right now as far as a cable network, but yeah. she's still making a lot of money. And one day we need to make Oprah money. How are we gonna do that? Oprah money. <laughs> I want to make Oprah money Ask somehow. Ask her if this show can get on own. Hey, that's right. It's relevant. It's relevant. We're hip. No, it's not. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> we, we, we have tons of things Come to talk on, Oprah. about. <laughs> Sell so, out. so yeah, I'm so I mean, it. get us, uh, you know, on to own somehow. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, so Oprah is the uh, number one highest paid celebrity, but one of the uh, most interesting uh, paid highest paid celebrities that we uh, just found out about, which probably would never be kind of listed somewhere on here, is actually Dr. Dre. Really? Is yeah. it the Beats? It's the Beats, isn't it? it? It's the Beats because not only, get this, not only does he make his percentage off of those headphones yeah. that he created with uh, Interscope chairman Jimmy Iovine, but here's the thing. HTC came in mm -hmm. and they said, we're going to pay you $300 million. To so, put your little speakers in our, in our phones? But get this. So we can have 51% in the oh, company. Wow. So they said, hey, Dre, yo, Dre. We want to give you $300 million. He said, yes, I'll take that $300 million. And they get 51%, but he still makes his percentage, mm -hmm. which is a lot smaller now, though, but it's still millions. Still you know what I mean? So he's still making money. But Dr. Dre comes in at fifth place at the uh, highest paid celebrities. And he's got the laptops, too. People are putting beats in the laptops and, like, car stereos and stuff. It's insane. Yeah, He's it's doing it, a good job. It, it, it's doing crazy. And speaking of rankings, everybody, we also have the uh, top box office uh, rankings for the week as well. Like I said, it's been a long week, but we got a lot of information to give you. Um, number five, Dark Knight Rises, which is still, I mean, fantastic movie. I've never seen it yet. Oh, you have to. What's you so great about to. it? Though? It's incredible, and I'm—I don't even follow the comics. Like I'm not a nerd. 
But here's the thing. <laughs> I, I hadn't even watched the first Dark Knight with uh, the Joker. Okay, you know when, I don't like, think you have to see it to enjoy this one. Okay. So, yeah, so, I haven't seen, what is it, Batman Begins, or what's the first one? Because isn't there three? There's yeah, one, yeah, the yeah. There's like all these different types of Batmans. I didn't see or that first one, and I've, saw, I've seen The Dark Knight, I've seen The Dark Knight Rises. They don't really have anything to do with each other. So if I separate. go to the movie theater today, and I watch Dark Knight Rises, I'll be fine. You'll love it, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. All right, so number four coming in is The Campaign, which is uh, with Will Ferrell, and uh, I think it's Zach Galifianakis yeah. or something like that. I haven't seen that one. Um, I did see Zach on the freeway in L.A., and he waved to me. You're me kidding. and my friends, we were like, Zach, and he was in a... And he had the big beard and everything? Yeah, and the glasses. <laughs> he was, like, dressed up as the hangover guy. I don't know his name. But we were like, Zach, Zach, and he was just like, okay, Or it yeah. could have been some random guy it that looked totally like Zach. It was totally him, because he put a visor on after we were calling his name, like, please don't like, draw uh, any attention, because okay. we were like, okay. stop I mean, next you, to him. You were in L.A., and you know, it, you know that, that happens a lot. We're basically best friends. Uh, number three is uh, Paranorman. That's, I guess, some cartoon slash, uh, I don't know, it's some type of movie, I guess. Uh, not interested in it. Number two, Aww. The Born Legacy. <laughs> I haven't seen any of the Bourne movies. I Me can't either. I can't get into Apparently, it. Apparently Matt Damon is no longer in the movie. Yeah. It's... So what happens is now they're saying that there's all these different Bournes everywhere. So even though Matt Damon is dead, I guess this guy yeah, is another he's... guy and the government's looking for him or I don't know what happens. But I'm not interested in that. I think you have to either. watch all the Bourne ones to get this one, which one I don't like. One of the coolest movies that I think is the one that we need to watch. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but it is the number one movie, which is the Expendables Two. Okay, I've and seen the first one, so this. I will probably like this but one. But get this. What's up? You're talking Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay. Chuck Norris. No. Chuck Norris. John claude Van Damme. Or okay. Jean, Jean. Jean or Jean. Jean uh, Sylvester Stallone. All these great action hero stars yeah. from all the movies are in this jam-packed movie. That's insane. Like, as a guy, You're I mean, just like that's you. like a dream. You know what I mean? <laughs> To see all your heroes yeah. in one movie, especially Chuck Norris. I mean, Chuck Norris, I mean, you put him in a movie, he goes number one. He probably directed, produced, and all of it. <laughs> but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, J Live Entertainment Radio here at CentralValleyTalk.com. Once again, we do want to remind you, JLiveENT.com, the official website for J Live Entertainment. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about today on the show. Mike Oz from the Fresno Bee, the Fresno Bee uh, newspaper here in Fresno, California. He's going to be talking about uh, how he got into the entertainment business in regards to reporting entertainment. He does this great series uh, called Seven uh, that is in the Fresno Bee Weekly. Um, he's got this big taco truck throwdown happening Ooh. at the uh, Fresno Grizzly Stadium, uh, which is going to be um, coming up uh, this Thursday, which is taco truck throwdown. We have comedian Andre Covington calling in because Ooh. he's got some big news on a big comedy show coming to the Central Valley. So we're going to have information on that. Plus, it's always great to have Andre Covington on. I just listened he's to funny, him on the way here. And he's got his own <laughs> radio show here in town. Um, and don't forget, The Week in Sports with DJ Brian Anthony. Very entertaining. Always great to find out what's happened in The Week in Sports. So we're going to be coming back in just a few moments with more J Live Entertainment Radio. Sydney's getting through her first segment. You survived. I did it. <laughs> we're coming back. CentralValleyTalk.com for J Live Entertainment Radio's The Experience Live. America's Sub Shop has arrived in the Tower District. Blimpy's is the best place to get delicious sandwiches, salads, baked goods, and smoothies at reasonable prices. You won't believe the great value of Blimpy's $5 combo deals. The fresh baked bread and big bowl tastes will bring you in, and the friendly service and great prices will keep you coming back. A Blimpy sandwich is great on your lunch break or as a healthy meal for the whole family. Try Blimpy's today, located directly across from the Tower Theater. We know you'll love it. Welcome to Voice of the Valley. I am your host, Kathy Wilcox. And two of Kathy's favorite things are going to be featured on the show today. Number one is money. Number two, fun moves. Alcohol! Uh, alcohol. Alcohol. My first book was the first I have to get up. I have to show you this dress because I think it was made for me. Doesn't this just scream Marilyn? I'm dressed in my Christmas parade outing, as you can see. Right here. Oh. Number one selling wine from Argentina. Argentina. Tell 
Kathy Wilcox, Voice of the Valley, Wednesdays at 2 on Channel 43. Hi, Bill Carmichael here, manager of Valley Goldmine Fresno. I'd like to tell everybody that we've relocated to the Tower District at 1212 North Van Ness Avenue. If you have any broken or unwanted jewelry you'd like to get top dollar for, give us a call at 559-970-8660. Also, we're on the web at www.valleygoldminefresno.com. If you're the type that likes to entertain at home, we have some gold parties that we can tell you about. And also, if you have children in schools and they have trouble raising funds, we have a great fundraiser that works as well. Once again, my number is 559-970-8660. Thank you. This segment is brought to you by David Parker from the law offices of Parker, Kern, Nard, and Winsel. And we're back <laughs> here at J11 Entertainment Radio is the Experience Live. Uh, Joey Perez here with my week four co-host, Sydney Brazil. So, That's me. so it's like you're on American Idol, Sydney. So you got to have the number four up when I say you got to vote for her. That was week number four. To vote four. for Sydney. <laughs> to vote Text for Sydney. Eight three six five seven zero four. <laughs> to vote for Sydney, make sure that you, uh, uh, you know, remember that she was number four. So lucky number four for Sydney. Now, actually, no, actually number four is not bad. No. You know, Beyonce Her. actually is like obsessed with the number four. Yeah. So if you have somebody, if that's... I can be anything like Beyonce, I'm pretty sure I'll win. <laughs> there you go. I mean, the she's, world. she's very successful and she like pretty much rules the world. Yeah. Uh, anything Beyonce does uh, touches gold. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, she. Yeah, I think she did. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, Beyonce. I don't know why I'm talking about Beyonce, <laughs> but the number four means a, a very significant thing to Beyonce, and obviously that comes that carries to, over to yeah me to Sydney. So obviously... hopefully, all that good luck from Beyonce Goodbye, goes to your. Me co-host position here yeah and we are going to pay you so if you do get hired you hey. are going to get paid now i need <laughs> to win that's to everybody else out there that's interested in becoming a co-host now remember you no, only don't have, tell them about it it's fine i, 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 I won i got to give them information now remember <laughs> folks the, the, the you have a chance to be a part of this but you only have two more weeks so email jliveking at gmail.com jliveking at gmail.com if you are interested and being a part of the uh, co-host competition here for JLive Entertainment Radio, but you only have two more weeks because uh, this is a six-week competition, and uh, once that competition ends, we will name our um, lifetime <laughs> co-host that'll be with us for the remainder of the next uh, few weeks until we're canceled uh, on CentralValleyTalk.com. So once again, I want to thank everybody uh, for tuning in, and remember that you can also check out all the instant messages, please. Type in an instant message to us and tell us what you're thinking. Uh, if we suck, or you know, don't if this say, is just a horrible show, if you want Sydney to leave the chair because you want all the spotlight on me, whatever it is that you want to tell me, please instant message right here on CentralValleyTalk.com. But uh, we were just talking before the break, and I was looking up some things, and I got to tell you, some people are just we have put it this way. We have some of the most interesting people in the United States of America. We do have and, that. And I mean, you're talking from creative to crazy insane. to insane. <laughs> and we just got an instant message saying, I want her to leave the chair. But Peace. Sydney, don't no, worry. See no, you later. no, no, no. It's fine. No, she doesn't whatever. know what she's talking about. Or he or whatever, whoever it is. Thank you. <laughs> Bootylicious. Life ruiner. <laughs> That's so not a real person. Hey, okay. All right. So listen, Bootylicious. Sydney's staying here because she's got to get through the whole program Just in order to see boo. if she's going to make it <laughs> through the uh, competition. But anyways, let me get back to my motion here. You guys are messing up my show. Women arrested for tossing drug-filled footballs into prison. Now, when I first read this headline, I'm wondering, okay, how does this happen? First of all, a prison fence is you know 100 feet yeah. tall i mean they got the i mean there's no way you can just throw something over you know a fence but she so, looks like she played for the niners or I, something. I, I wish we could pull the mug shot she, <laughs> <It's> <laughs> she looks like a real athlete but here so here's the thing not only is that impressive so if i was a football agent out there or somebody Someone i mean somebody to... <laughs> look for this woman because i mean she literally threw these two footballs over a prison fence into the playground yeah. now get this so, I mean, if you were walking by, driving by, you're probably thinking, oh, what a nice lady. You know, she's yeah. taking some sports equipment over. She's dropping them off into the prison. Everything's good, right? Well, apparently everything was not good <laughs> because inside the two Wilson footballs, yes, Wilson, so Wilson. that's a shout out if they Come are going to be a Wilson. sponsor of ours. 
Uh, apparently, inside the two Wilson footballs, excuse me, I'm spitting over here, everyone. Are you? <laughs> there were uh, <laughs> pills, marijuana, cigarettes, cell phones, and cell phone chargers all in these footballs. So, I mean, obviously, she, she took the time to like seal up the football, how it was. Yeah. Everything, I mean, everything was perfect. There were no you, signs of like, anything. Like, if you throw it, don't you think when it lands, it's going to just burst open? Well, no, here's what happened. The footballs actually landed and made it into into the prison, mm -hmm. okay? What happened was, <laughs> you see, what happened yeah, was, yeah. Uh, the as, you know, the prisoners are playing, because nobody caught her yet, so nobody even saw the objects thrown into the fence until they reviewed tape later on during oh, the day. Wow. So nobody was even, so nobody somebody, even saw... So somebody grabbed the stuff and took it to their... No, the prisoners grabbed the footballs. Yeah, yeah. So they started playing to make it seem like it was an actual oh. game type of thing. What happened was, is one of the cell phones actually went off no. because the woman had thought that they had already been back to their cell, so decided to call. One of the cell phones go off... Uh, a correctional officer's there, he grabs the footballs and they open it up. Oh, wow. And this is from Commander Lieutenant Ken Kuntz, who says, I was surprised at the amount of contraband and drugs that can be put in a football. So, I mean, obviously this lady took a lot of time to put this together. I mean, okay. She Let's shouldn't say, use a basketball, like that's way bigger. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> never mind. Exactly. No, you're right though. I mean, but I mean, she has the, she had the right idea. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not motivating or telling anybody to do this type of thing, but I will say that I mean that was pretty smart. It's, yeah, it's a pretty it's smart move. Borderline genius. I, I mean, uh, I, I got to give her. Uh, not good, I, I but got to give her some points for that. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Props. So, so crazy I mean, lady. <laughs> do you, I mean, do you know anybody in prison or? No, I don't okay. know anybody. Okay. Hey, in I'm just. This is a background check. When we get a co-host, no, we got to find really out where don't. you're from. You know what you. Uh, you know if you got a, a history because we don't want just anybody sitting right the next. The closest time. I get to crime is watching. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. You Best know show ever, guys. You Hold gotta on. watch Everybody it. Everybody is talking about Breaking Bad. Have you not Bad. seen it? I have not watch seen it. Watch the first episode, and I promise you, you'll be hooked. But here's the thing. What's Why up? is it so good? What's the like? What's the concept? You of gotta. Breaking you Bad? just have to watch the. You don't know anything about it? No, I don't. What's the concept? Just tell me the concept real quick. That's all I need to know. Well, I don't want to spoil it, cause like. <laughs> okay, but anyways. Um, Craig, is that Craig? Yeah, Craig. Hey, shout out to Craig who Hi, says, Craig. I think she is hot. Get rid of the dude. <laughs> Unfortunately, Craig, I'm not Maybe going anywhere. Maybe he's talking about you and he show. thinks I'm the dude. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, this, this girl's hot. <laughs> that, that could be true. Anyway, it's a good show. I'm not going to spoil it for you because you just watch the first episode and you'll know everything that's going on. Really okay, good. so there's a recommendation from our co-host number four, Sydney, saying that uh, please check out Breaking Bad. Wow, Bootylicious saying, Come Sydney, on, boo. you are Delicious. so fine. Breaking, Breaking Bad. Bad for life. So apparently we do I have... I think this is my boyfriend some, <laughs> messing with me right apparently now. Apparently we do have some Stop. Breaking Bad fans out there. But anyways, let me continue on. I know we're getting a lot of uh, great instant messages <laughs> about Sydney being the hottest girl on the planet. Uh, unfortunately, she still has to work, guys. So maybe yeah. after you can take her out to lunch, or even the boyfriend will pick her up, and you know, you know, whatever. So uh, Australian government, get this. This is a cool another uh, article that I read this morning okay. in the newspaper. Um, is going to vote a man off the island. Um, apparently, this uh, man has been living for 20 years with his dog and a weird mannequin, I guess, that he picked up at I a saw, store. I saw, yeah. I'm yeah, so, I mean, picture. apparently, this guy, um, kind of like a true life. Uh, That's what, his whole island? Yeah, so what was it? This what, is a big island, people. What was this Tom Hanks movie? What was that movie called? Well, son, uh, Castaway. Castaway. Yeah. So, apparently, this guy was a, a real life castaway. He he's, looks like he, he's got a dog. I mean, he's got a big beard. He's got the whole look. Um, and, uh, you know, he's, he's got this mannequin that he lives yeah. with and probably talks to, and I don't know whatever else he does with it. I don't want to know. But apparently the Australian government <laughs> is voting this guy off of the island, and, uh, you know, he's been living there for 20 years, not bothering anybody, yeah. and now he's being evicted. That so sucks. I, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't know if this is just... I think um, that's wrong. I don't know why, but, I mean, he lives there. Okay, that's now like put his... it this way, though. Put it this way. If you were on an island, mm -hmm. I mean, Chilling. what would you do? If I'd... you were all by yourself, I mean, would you... Does he want to be on the island? Is no, he, he loves it. Away? Yeah, he loves it. No, he, did. he oh, wants okay. to stay there, yeah. But, I mean, what would you do on an island if you were by yourself, if, uh, you know, there's nobody there? I do mean... I have a guitar? Okay, well, that's what I want to know. What are your survival <laughs> tips? Guitar. Okay, guitar, why guitar? 
because that's all that's it okay <laughs> i just that's all i need water i guess food i guess okay i'll probably just end up eating the guitar probably. but what if you could only take like one item of food and you know i mean what what's your I favorite food like, that you would take just to help you survive geez. it's gotta be healthy i guess that sucks. Healthy. Well, I mean, what if it's like it probably grows mangoes on the on the island, right? It's tropical. Well, that's what stuff. I'm saying. That's what I would do. And I would like fish. take a bunch of seeds. I get seeds. my spear and just the fish. I would take a bunch of seeds and start planting yeah, stuff. Yeah, just my own little seeds. garden. You know what I mean? Have some lemons over here. Have some mangoes over here. Yeah. Have some uh, cucumbers over here. I mean, I could survive off of that. Yeah. But I don't need a guitar. I would probably need like some you like know, a, type of form of TV. You'd need TV like a satellite so yeah. you could do like <laughs> podcasts <laughs> to the rest of the world. I do, I do J Live Radio from my uh, island. <laughs> yeah, so um, apparently, so like I said, uh, the guy's going to be evicted. He's got his twenty day notice. So uh, maybe that's, next in the next few does weeks. Does he have any like family? We probably don't know. You know what? That's it. So um, he's got the mannequin. Apparently, he is uh, he is done. So he's got to go. That's so awesome. if there's anybody that knows this uh, gentleman. Um, and give uh, him our condolences. <laughs> hopefully, he uh, finds his. Um, <laughs> he finds a new home. Yeah. But anyways, uh, speaking of more crazy news, so we've already talked about the lady that threw the footballs into prison. The genius, yeah. We've already <laughs> talked, and then <laughs> we're filled with drugs. We've already talked about the man that's going to be evicted from uh, his island, uh, which in the next few days. Uh, now, um, we're talk really quick before we go, and we're going to have Mike Oz calling in, folks, in just a few moments. Uh, but apparently a Bigfoot hoaxer was killed in an accident. Oh no! Yes, a Montana man was struck and killed uh, by cars Sunday night while trying to hoax a Bigfoot sighting. That is So what if you you're get. ever watching that uh, TV show Finding Bigfoot and you, they never find Bigfoot, well, they were trying to make that happen, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, and this guy was <laughs> going across the road, and uh, several cars just ran into him, and unfortunately, uh, it, which is um, very uh, depressing. That's um, sad. The man he's died. Just trying to be funny. Yeah, the man died. Uh, after being by two, uh, being hit by two cars consecutively. Oh, so apparently he didn't he was get like struck by a hunter. No, 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 no. He was he struck ran one in time. Front of cars. Yeah, he was okay, struck one you're time. Just dumb, dude. And then got <laughs> struck again. So unfortunately, folks, we send our condolences to the uh, yeah. Bigfoot hoaxer. But ladies and gentlemen, J Live Entertainment Re Radio returns with Mike Oz from the Fresno Bee. Can't wait to talk to him. He's got this big taco truck throwdown, plus all his uh, information about how he got into the business and all that great stuff. Coming up after the break. Mike Briggs Properties has a very special historic property for sale that can be used as a home or as a business. This classic California craftsman historical home is located in the Tower District, Fresno High area. The interior ambiance displays a heyday of craftsman aesthetics, substance, strength, symmetry, and casual grace. Elegantly appointed mahogany and oak structural elements integrate form and function in a harmonious flow from room to room in this two-story, 4,500-foot home. The property also includes a nearly 800-foot, two-bedroom apartment above the garage. This property is well-suited for a professional office type of business or for a large family or combined living and workspace. The lot included with this property is park-sized, with plenty of room for expansion or as a parking lot big enough to support a commercial business. For more information on this property, call Mike Briggs Properties at 486-6758. Mike Briggs Properties, 486-6758. Welcome to Jotney's Porch. How about that? We have been I doing this for a that. year. Yeah. My memory of the porch is that it's very much where women ruled. Mm -hmm. It was almost a throne. You be going like this. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm yeah. circular. See, Southern folks are circular. <laughs> what she said, preach. preach. You want me to preach? preach. Love sharing uh, those things and those uh, things that'll make you stronger and better. Mm -hmm. uh, and go for. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. Uh, turn me around. Hey. Turn me around, they ain't gonna let nobody Okay, no more drama in my life To myself, I, I said self, myself said yeah, yeah. Oh. That was a good one That was good girl, I'm good I'm helping good. you become the best reflection of yourself And what was that? The one God intended all along We're gonna get there together, I promise you Thank God for the post Amen Thank you. 
You can advertise your business, your product, or your event on Central Valley Talk, the Valley's only internet television station. Several of our programs are also picked up on DISH and cable networks. For the best advertising dollar, call Central Valley Talk at 579-1360. This segment is brought to you by Blimpies in the Tower District. For all of your lunch and dinner needs, go to Blimpies in the Tower District. CentralValleyTalk.com All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back on JLive Entertainment Radio's The Experience Live. My name is Joey Perez. I welcome you back along with uh, my co-host, Sydney, who uh, <laughs> one of our uh, guests out there, what is that, Annie Styles? Annie Styles uh, says, Sydney, you rule. Okay, bye. All right, bye. So she's gone. But thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we leave her with that. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's my pleasure to welcome uh, somebody who uh, uh, definitely is uh, involved in any type of aspect of entertainment uh, out here in Fresno, California, and anywhere in Central Valley, California. Uh, he's got a big event coming up this week, uh, but definitely just want to have a chance to uh, have a quick conversation with them. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mike Oz uh, from the Fresno Bee. Right here on hey. J Live Entertainment Radio, Mike. I know you're busy. You're doing a lot of promotion for your big uh, taco truck throwdown, and I know you said I was your fourth media <laughs> stop, right? Yeah, fourth, fourth one today. I, mean, I, got, I got one more still to do, but uh, thank you guys for having me. And you know, always happy to um, come and come and talk about the entertainment scene and all that. So, Mike, really quick, man, um, you know, uh, I, I haven't had a chance to really even ask you uh, just in the times that I've met you and things like that. Like, how did you uh, get into the Fresno Bee? How did things start for you out here? Okay, well, actually, uh, I, I kind of knew that I wanted to be involved in journalism since since I was, like, in high school, basically. So, um, you know, I went, to, I went to college, majored in, in print journalism, uh, got my degree at San Jose State, and um, it was in the middle of that, I got an internship out here at the Fresno Bee. So um, when I when I graduated, they uh, had this job opening for an entertainment reporter, and uh, you know I guess I made a good impression on them when I was an intern. So uh, they brought me back, and um, you know that that's sort of how I got to Fresno, and how I got at my gig. And uh, I've been here ten years now. Uh, my my job at the Bee has certainly evolved over the years. You know I, I started as just strictly kind of you know, music reporter, and now I do all sorts of stuff. Uh, you know, I'm a columnist, I do the blog, um, I organize events, I, uh, you know, write all kinds of different entertainment too. So, you know, I think the nature of our, of our business is, is ever-changing. So um, for me, it's just been kind of trying to keep up with, with that and just sort of grow, you know, what I do. Like, I have a radio show now too, and, you know, sometimes I do videos on our blog. Yeah, so, you know what, I... You know, I, I I just try to keep it different and, and, you know, keep in tune with the trends out there. I was just going to mention that. I think that you've done things that uh, typically, uh, you know, like, for example, you know, Mike Oz is kind of a name in itself, like as far as the way that you brand it, the way that you yeah. put it together. I mean, like, for example, when you see Mike Oz, you know that it's going to be something that's uh, a breaking news in regards to entertainment or a concert or something. So we know to go to you for that stuff. And, and, and I, I, like I said, I followed, you know, things that you've been doing, like the Fresno Beehive blogs, the, uh, uh, the, the radio show that you're doing now, um, and then obviously, you know, um, the, 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 the weekly printout that you also put, which is called Seven, right? Yeah, well, I think, you know, and I'm sure you understand this. I'm sure maybe a lot of people listening understand this, but um, I, I think for me, it, it, it goes back to, like, growing up listening to a lot of hip-hop. I, I think what you learn from rappers is, like, you got to be in control of, of your own personal brand, and you have to, you know, you have to hustle yourself and, and get yourself out there. And, and, you know, I've always kind of been like that, I guess. Um, I come from a... a, a like my, my, my grandpa, you know, owned his own business and did everything himself and his whole family there, you know, working. So I, I kind of understand that, that, that idea. And so I, I, I don't know, I just approach my job like that. Like oh, I try wow. to, you know, yeah, build, build myself and build who I am and, and you know, let that grow. And, and whether it's radio station or the, you know, Twitter or events or whatever. And, and I, you know, I hope that people, if they see something I'm involved in, that they hope it's going to be good because... You know, so I try to do. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, you, you, you do a, uh, a segment on your blog on Fresno Beehive of, like, five things to do this weekend or, you know, things like that that people really look forward to, to knowing what's going on in Fresno or the surrounding areas. Um, and, uh, Mike, I mean, obviously you've been to a ton of concerts. 
you you know you've uh, dealt with a lot of artists uh, you've interviewed a lot of people uh, what would what would you say would have been your your most memorable concert and most memorable celebrity that you've interviewed um, let's see most it, it, it's interesting a lot of people always ask me like what are the most horrible interviews <laughs> I, I, there's, there's a lot to stand out because they're bad but um, you know ones that are fun probably actually one of my favorite ones uh, when I interviewed I interviewed Ric Flair you know the wrestler oh nice and that was just interesting because I, I remember I always remember this when I talked to him I'm like so you know I was like ask people what they're doing I'm like so what are you doing right now he's like oh I'm just grocery shopping <laughs> <laughs> in my head I'm like I wonder what it's like to be Ric Flair grocery shopping and people are just going to run up on him and be like woo yeah. you know like <laughs> woo <laughs> that was funny um, I remember like I always fondly remember interviewing uh, it wasn't all that spectacular or interesting but I interviewed Dave Chappelle and I really liked Dave Chappelle so that was that was kind of cool yeah that was right before he kind of really took off um, it, one of the ones that just really appealed to me on like hip hop level because I thought it was super cool uh, I interviewed Gazzy Jeff oh nice um, and, and that guy you know he's just such a so like well spoken and so um, like intelligent and you know, has a lot to offer I think so that, that's one other one I think that you know I'm pretty proud of um, in terms of shows man that's tough because you know there's, there's so many good things but um, I'd say like one of the hypest like Fresno shows I can remember is uh, the time I saw uh, like Ghostface Killer at uh, Starline, that was just that was ridiculous. I don't wow. think I've ever been in um, a, a place where in Fresno where people just are going crazy the entire time. Everybody's just like you know sweaty, packed together in there, like you could barely move around, and, and it was it was pretty ridiculous. So it almost um, it almost felt like a genuine hip hop show. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but that's this year actually one of my favorite ones this year was um, on the Fulton Mall local uh, indie band Fish Creatures had this this awesome outdoor music festival it's called the Catacomb Party it happened in July and it was just one of those things where you saw all the different um, you know elements of of the city right now come together you know they had like art out there and they had food trucks and they had you know like tons of kids out there to see these bands and you know they all did it themselves they went and got all the permits you need to do something outdoors yeah. and you know they had beer vendors and food vendors and, and they knew a lot of hard work went into it and I saw that so many people came out and supported it and had a great time and it meant a lot to so many people that stuff like that also affects me because I'm like you know those are the kind of things that we need to do so um, I, I had a really good time there and I'm always going to probably remember that one as, as something that was really great most definitely, man. Well, like I said, thanks for uh, uh, coming on uh, J Live Entertainment Radio. And like I said, I know you're uh, very busy. Uh, you got a lot of media stops you're doing for this Taco Truck Throwdown. Perfect segue for that. Uh, Taco Truck Throwdown happening this Thursday uh, out at uh, Fresno Grizzlies. Uh, tell us a little bit about Taco Truck Throwdown. And I know I know we have some video that we're going to be showing here in just a second uh, here at Central Valley Talk dot com. So oh, cool, cool. I hope it's a good video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, taco Truck Throwdown. Basically, the idea was to bring together all kinds of different taco trucks. Um, into into the stadium and you know let people just eat as much as they can and, and uh, decide you know who really has the best tacos because you know I know various people in various cities will say oh man the tacos in Sanger are the best or the tacos in Selma or whatever so you know we try to gather a bunch of a bunch of different taco trucks and get them out there and you know let people vote and we have a panel of judges and then they're going to decide so last year uh, was the first one and it was crazy man we sold like eight thousand tacos. Eight thousand tacos? Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, it was it was like there was like ten thousand people there. And it's also the the, the dollar beer night, so between all that it's kind of the perfect storm of of a night out. Oh, yeah. So uh this year we have we're gonna have probably twelve trucks. Last year we had seven, so it's gonna be uh bigger and the same thing, dollar beer. Uh, it's just, you know, it's one of those things. I, I feel like the background on this for me, like some of the story of it is um when I came out here I, I sort of, like, people would take me to a few different taco places, and then I got into the idea of trying to go out and discover, like, who has the best tacos, and, you know, not being from Fresno, it was an opportunity for me to go to all these places, you know, so the first time I ever went to, like, Raisin City, or first time I ever went to, like, Carruthers, or all these places, was just because somebody told me, oh, let's go over here and have some tacos there, and so, um, it, you know, there was sort of that element of, for me, it, it led me to explore all these different cities and all these different areas that we have here in the valley, and, um, you know, kind of bringing them all in one place, I thought was really cool. And then also, just the idea of you know food trucks and food cars is so popular right now. Yeah. That yeah, you know, bringing bringing that together in a in a taco truck kind of way is really awesome. 
So, so, so this Thursday out at Fresno Grizzlies, we're definitely going to be a taco truck throwdown. I'm down yeah. with some tacos. Sydney, what type of tacos do you like? Um, Carne asada. I feel like I'm not a real Californian because I've never been to a taco truck. Oh my oh, god! Don't kill me. I'm so sorry. Well, this is the perfect time, right, Mike? Yeah. Yeah, this, this is the one, man. So go out there and um, I'll be there. I, I, would, I would recommend uh, go get go get some kind of pork, something. You know, right. I don't know. I like the carnitas or the alabada or the pastor or one of those. Just All right. Go do that. Hey, Mike, thank you so much for calling in, man. Once again, it's a pleasure. Uh, we'll keep in touch. I know like we always do via email or however it is that we get in contact with each other. JLive will definitely throw you some free tickets for a contest on Beehive or whatever it is that we could do uh, to support you, man. I know you, so, you hey, support well, us a lot of times. So. Thank you for having me, and good luck with the show. Thank you, man. Thanks, Mike. All right, bye. All right, see ya. Mike Oz, ladies and gentlemen, from the Fresno Bee calling in. Uh, and once again, Taco Truck Throwdown this Thursday out at the uh, Fresno Grizzly Stadium. Uh, and you, like Mike said, Al Pastor, Carnitas, all that good stuff. I'm so not hungry. Uh, <laughs> make sure you check that out. We're going to be coming back with not only comedian Andre Covington, who's going to be calling in, but the week in sports with DJ Brian Anthony coming up next. about buying or selling a property right now, or maybe you just have a question about real estate, I'd love to help you with that. Give me a call at 352-7716, and I can answer any questions that you might have. Maybe you've got a property that's upside down. Maybe you're interested in buying a bank foreclosure and have a question about that. Or maybe you just like someone to show you some houses that you're interested in or have a question about a particular property. Once again, give me a call. My name's Greg, 352-7716, and I'd love to help you. Thanks. This just in. Tower District houses are selling for as little as $300 per month. If you have a job and decent credit, you can own your own home. If you can come up with a down payment, you can own a home a lot cheaper than you can rent. And your payment will never go up. Also, you could deduct most of your house payment from your income taxes. If you'd like to lock in your monthly house payment at $300 to $500 per month for the next 30 years, call Mike Briggs Properties, 486-6758. Mike Briggs Properties, 486-6758. Hi, I'm Jason Gobelli, and I'd like you to take just a minute and ask yourself a couple of questions. Are your needs being met in the real estate business? Are you getting all the latest technology that you need to be productive in this market? Are you getting the benefits that you deserve? Do you have enough leads? Are you truly making enough money for all that hard work and time you've been putting in? If not, you might want to give me a call and we can set up a confidential interview. At Connect Realty, we're one of the fastest growing companies around. There's tons of tools and benefits for agents, like freerealtor.com showcase listings, free unlimited virtual tours, free websites with nationwide IDX. We have free virtual back office, free compliance coordinator so that you can be paid right away. There's health insurance, life insurance, and the best part is the commissions start from 80% and go to 95%. And we have one of the best retirement plans in the whole industry. Now, I cannot possibly go over everything in this just this short minute. Go to the website, careers at connectrealty.com, or feel free to call us at the toll-free number, or you can even call my personal line, 559-307-0550. I look forward to talking to you. Thanks. This segment is brought to you by Corrine Hatfield of Platinum Mortgage. If you are thinking of purchasing a new home or refinancing an existing home, call Corrine Hatfield at 917-7111. 
Back live on JLive Entertainment Radio is the experience. Uh, just before the commercial break, we had a fun time talking to uh, Mike Oz. Definitely a great time uh, getting to know about uh, his uh, information about the taco truck throwdown. Shout out to Crunchy559 who just instant messaged us uh, and says that only if it's Crunchy Tacos, I'm in <laughs> for the taco Shout truck Shout out to Crunchy. Throwdown. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time again. Hey. The Week in Sports with DJ Brian Anthony. And this is, like I said, this is one of the most exciting yeah. segments. Hey, you know what? Because there's, there's people out info. there that don't really watch sports that, you know, are not into the sports center type of deal. But, uh, you Here know, I let them know uh, what's going on. They get Let's that get it started. Let's get it started. All right. And uh, we start, uh, usually I like to start with MLB, but this week we're starting with something that's kicking off this week, and that's NCAA football. And uh, you can't talk about NCAA football without talking about our local boys, the Bulldogs, the Fresno State. State. Has no state. Uh, they got their first game this Saturday coming up at 7 o'clock versus Weber State. Uh, they're beginning their new season under new head coach Tim DeRuder, who takes over for Pat Hill, who recently coached the Bulldogs for 15 seasons. Also a big thing with Fresno State, they're moving into a new conference, the Mountain West. Uh, which is going to be a, a premier, premier, I can say, premier conference up from the WAC. I mean, you still got some of the usual suspects like Boise State, Nevada, Hawaii in there, but then you got some new guys like uh, 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 Air Force and uh, Colorado so, State. So, so just really quick, just so when we just when we thought we were going into a new conference, getting away from Boise State. They're still there. They're still there. And this is actually Boise State's last season uh, in that conference. They're oh, actually moving to the Big East. <laughs> but I think we're going to still play them in non-conference games. So uh, we should see what happens with that. Uh, most of the offense and defense coming back for Fresno State. Some of the big standouts, obviously Derek Carr, Robbie Rouse on defensive side. There's Philip Thomas uh, and a host of others. Uh, one big key that's not coming back for the Fresno State is uh, Jalen Saunders, who transferred out. Um, I guess he didn't get... He was the leading receiver for Fresno State, and I guess this year he didn't get a good feel for the mm. offense that the new coach brought in, which is a spread offense. So uh, we'll see. Should be an exciting season for Fresno. I mean, uh, uh, there's really, I'm, I can't say big expectations. Like when Pat Hill was here, uh, there's usually big expectations for them. But uh, this year, uh, there's really none. So we'll see what they can do. Should be All exciting. Right. Um, also, uh, games kick off this week. Uh, first game. Uh, is ESPN on Thursday. First college game is number nine, South Carolina versus Vanderbilt. Uh, game's also on Friday. Boise playing on Friday. And uh, let's not forget about the powerhouse. USC is finally off probation. So uh, <laughs> we'll see what they can do. Uh, uh, they're number one in a couple polls. So we'll see what they can do this season. Like I said, should be exciting with college football. Now, isn't that um, that's always a, kind of a curious statement that I've always had. Even watching, I watch Sports Center, you know, daily. I mean, I, I watch it for the sports and all that stuff and all the stories. Yeah. But obviously, it's very interesting to see all these college campuses that go through uh, the legal troubles. Oh. The, I mean, obviously, you know, let's not talk about Penn State. I mean, oh, obviously cool. they're going through the biggest yeah, yeah. Uh, of, uh, of the, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, punish, sanctions. punishments and sanctions, sanctions yes. from the NCAA. So, I mean, it's very, uh, it's a crazy, crazy industry. Yeah, it is. is and, and it's, it's almost like, you know, with, with a recruiting violation happens with just one player, the whole team gets affected. And yeah. it's, it's kind of, I mean... It's kind of you got to have your program under control, and that's what NCAA expects these programs mm. to do: is be under control. And unfortunately, you got some of the bad apples out there. Uh, but switching uh, tides here, we're going back to the MLB. Uh, got to talk about the Giants. I know we got a lot of Giants fans out there. Uh, There's still two and a half games above the Dodgers in the NL West. Dodgers actually getting shut out. I mean, it's pretty amazing what you know the, the lineup they have since that trade. Well, I was looking uh, on Facebook uh, that whole you know first few days of the Dodger Giants game. Yeah, and all yeah. the Giants fans are. You know, taking pictures of the broom for the sweep. yeah, yeah, they did get swept. So, uh, but we'll see. There's still a lot of uh, games left. Dodgers got a big trade, yeah. uh, with the deal. So, uh, Giants and Houston today at five. J uh, Dodgers Rockies at five forty. That's the schedule for today in MLB. Uh, on to the NFL. Uh, preseason is over uh, this week. No, uh, this weekend. Uh, regular season is going to begin next w Wednesday with the uh, Giants taking on the Cowboys. Uh, Giants, former uh, last year's Super Bowl winner, so it should be a good game. Uh, also, a quick note of NFL replacement refs uh, are set to start the season this year, so uh, should be a wild, wild, wild NFL season if the replacement refs are there. Me personally, I think NFL has to set a uh, deal with the uh, regular refs. If not, I mean, um, I don't see this... Uh, NFL season being fairly played out with the replacement refs. They're from a different college division, so mm. I think it's a whole different game. 
Um, be a lot so, of challenges. Uh, yeah, a lot of challenges. So I'm, I'm hoping uh, regular season refs uh, can strike a deal with the NFL, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Well, my favorite part of the week in sports with DJ Brian Anthony is always finding out who are our winners and losers of the week. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the winners and losers. And I'm starting with the winner this week, and I'm uh, rooting for Little League Baseball World Series. If, if, you, if you were in around the TV this Saturday and caught this game, uh, and didn't catch this game. You guys missed out on something amazing. Uh, it was the U.S. Championship game, and uh, Tennessee uh, faced California, and it was a wild game. Believe me, I mean, I'm a big fan of regular MLB baseball, college baseball, whatever, but I really never got into Little League baseball until this weekend. Mm. I seen this game. Get this final score 24 16. Wow. I mean, when you can combine for 40 <laughs> runs. That's pretty crazy. Wow. Tennessee ended up losing to Japan in the finals uh, in a blowout. But you know what? Uh, I, I, my winner this week is the kids who participated and the whole organization of Little League Baseball who actually puts the kids out there and puts it on the forefront uh, in front of a national TV audience. And unfortunately, when you have a winner, you definitely got to have you a gotta loser. You got to have a loser. And uh, biggest loser this week is Lance Armstrong. I'm sure you heard <laughs> about that big thing. Yeah. Uh, Lance Armstrong, is, you know, he's had a whirlwind career uh, and life from winning, mm. you know, seven Tour de France. Uh, to beating cancer, uh, but you know he suffered his lowest point uh, this week and find and, and, and being found guilty uh, <laughs> and using bad stuff. <laughs> I see he's a nut. They got an instant message. They said he's a nut, and that's true because of his cancer deal. But mm. um, he he be found guilty of using a banned substance and uh, get this: the Unis United States Doping Agency put a ban, a uh, lifetime ban on him. So wow. he got stripped of his titles, and so I think he's at his lowest point of his career. Uh, he did do an interview saying everything is fine. But hey, you know what? Um, we'll we'll shall we'll shall see what happens. And as with as they said, uh, I read a tweet on Twitter. Uh, it last week was a bad week to be an Armstrong. Yeah. Because not only did this happen to Lance Armstrong. Yeah. But also astronaut Neil Armstrong passed oh, away. Rest yeah. In rest peace. in peace, Neil. Uh, quick week. notes, real quick before we leave, uh, Joey. Uh, local PGA golfer, congratulations, Nick Watney, at winning the Bar Barclays this weekend. He beat out Tiger Woods, Sergio Garcia. Chad Mendez charged in a bar fight in Hanford in July. He will be officially charged with assault and battery, and he's set to be arranged September 19th. So, uh, Chad Mendez, our local boy from mm. Hanford, man, got to get it together. Got to get it together. I'm going to keep a no comment on that one. All but, right, so uh, we'll, we, we shall see. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with more J-Live Entertainment Radio. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much to DJ Brian Anthony and his week in sports. Comedian Andre Covington closes out the show next. Mike Briggs Properties has a very special historic property for sale that can be used as a home or as a business. This classic California craftsman historical home is located in the Tower District, Fresno High area. The interior ambiance displays a heyday of craftsman aesthetics, substance, strength, symmetry, and casual grace. Elegantly appointed mahogany and oak structural elements integrate form and function in a harmonious flow from room to room in this two-story, 4,500-foot home. The property also includes a nearly 800-foot, two-bedroom apartment above the garage. This property is well-suited for a professional office type of business or for a large family or combined living and workspace. The lot included with this property is park-sized with plenty of room for expansion or as a parking lot big enough to support a commercial business. For more information on this property, call Mike Briggs Properties at 486-6758. Mike Briggs Properties, 486-6758. Welcome to Jack. Okay, all right. All right, we are back live, ladies and gentlemen. J Live Entertainment Radio is the experience. Had a great sports update with uh, DJ Brian Anthony, Sydney Brazil, our week four hey. co host. As we get ready to round out our uh, uh, co host competition, uh, we have two more uh, special co hosts to join us. Uh, so we will see uh, who will be our permanent co host after the uh, end of our six weeks here. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, he's the B95 uh, morning show host for the Juice Crew Morning Show. Very popular comedian. He has been everywhere from BET to Comedy Central to everywhere that you can think of. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome J Live's good friend, Andre Covington. Andre! Woo! What's going on, man? I'm a little upset I didn't get an audition for that co-hosting job. I'm a little mad, man. You know, I'm like James Brown. I like to have 19 jobs. 
<laughs> Dre, man, you know you're you know you're always welcome as a co-host, man. But Sydney Brazil sitting right next to me, you got a chance to see her at the Next Big Thing Talent Show out at uh, the Fresno Fair. Uh, she's very talented, and I I just I mean I, I think she's a little prettier than you, man, sitting right here. Just a little bit. Thanks. She sounds like she's uh, actually gorgeous. Her name is Brazil. I mean, that's named after like the Brazilian wax deal that the ladies get. I mean, she's got to be sexy. Oh I mean, everyone's got to get a Brazilian. <laughs> Dre, really quick, man. Uh, you know, obviously you've been a great friend of ours. I've known you since I kind of first started J Live Entertainment, and I remember being just a young kid uh, hiring you uh, for a comedy show that we did, you know, back almost ten years ago. And ever since then, we've always had a, a great friendship. But really quick. Um, what uh, you know? What got you into the business, man? Well, first of all, man, thank you for that. And, uh, I was very happy to be hired uh, by a fourteen-year-old at the time. <laughs> uh, but what got me in the business uh, is the fact that I'm funny, man. And I, you know, I needed to capitalize on that. I got tired of making all my friends laugh for free. So I'm like, if I'm going to do this, and, uh, and my encouragement from my friends were like, hey, man, you need to get up on stage because you know you got a gift. And I, I did that. I got up into a comedy competition. I did really well. And uh, from there, it just I continued to pursue it. And I've never stopped. It's, it's a lifelong deal for me. Uh, I think when you have a uh, been blessed with a gift, if you stop using that gift, you will lose it. So I didn't want to lose the ability to make people laugh and entertain uh, those who need to laugh. So uh, I feel fortunate to be able to do that. And we definitely enjoy hearing you on a Juice Crew Morning Show with Greg and Carmen. Uh, and, 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 and tell us a little bit about that, about, uh, about the radio, going from comedy live on stage to then going to radio. How was that? Kind of, was that a big transition for you? Not really. I just had to learn the ins and out of radio. I mean, you're doing it now, so you know it's, a, it's an art form. It's a style to it. Uh, I really try to not come on and be a comedian, but be funny. Be a funny radio host because there's a difference between on the stage and on the radio. Of course, you take the censorship part. You have to watch what you say. When I'm doing stand-up, I'm pretty free because that's my opinion and I'm expressing it. So I have a right to say freedom of speech gives me that right. But when you get into radio and things of that nature, you have other guidelines you have to follow because of FCC and things of that nature. So uh, I just try to work within those parameters and let my, my gifts to gab and my, my humor come out in the business I do, the dirty phone calls, uh, going back and forth with listeners, and actually preparing different mm -hmm. topics that are going to lead to funny uh, conversations. Yeah, most definitely, man. It's hilarious listening to you guys. Now, uh, Dre, i got to tell you, you've been working with JLive Entertainment for a while now. We're coming back together. we got a big announcement that September 28th at the Irwin Street Inn in Hanford, California, the return of Andre Covington. Yeah, man, it's been a minute since I've been uh, to Hanford or Visalia, Lamore, that area. I used to get up there quite a bit. You know, I did some things at the casino and things of that nature. So a lot of people have been hitting me up on Facebook and emailing me when you come up this way. Because I do my thing here in Fresno. That's a little commute. Sometimes people don't want to make that drive. So I'm coming to your neck of the woods. I'm bringing a big old bag of honey with me, and I'm just going to dump it on everybody and have a great time. So I'm looking forward to uh, reuniting with J-Live. Uh, bring it back my funny and uh, let's do it up and make it up it's going to it be happen. a lot of fun September 28th we're going to have more information about that on next week's show and we'll talk a little bit more about it as, as the next few weeks roll on but thank you very much Andre for being with us today we're running out of time thank you so much Dre and uh, we'll keep you. in touch thank you so much right. man so once again ladies and gentlemen J Live Entertainment Radio comes to a close and Sydney Brazil, week number four co hosts I got to give you a round of applause. I got to give you a round of applause. You did great today. Thank you. And uh, we have two more co hosts to get through next week. We'll see what happens. Uh, once again, more information on the, co the big comedy show coming September 28th. We'll give you all that information as well. JLiveENT.com, Facebook slash JLiveENT, Twitter, JLiveENT, JLive Entertainment Radio is the experience. I am Joey Perez. Hope you guys have a great morning. And don't forget, 559 five, Fights, September the 15th. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next week. <laughs>